You haven't changed a bit in the last year, have you? Keeping everything inside, not letting anyone in, especially someone that actually cares about you. What's dragging you down? I can feel it every time that you walk into the room. I know you want to stay in your son's life and the strain that's put on Jake and Amanda, but there's more to it than that. More to it than just your devotion to your son. He's not my son. That's the problem. Trevor is not my son. I don't understand. Trevor's not yours. I didn't always know that Trevor wasn't my son. For months, I had no doubt that he was mine. After everything they did to keep me from knowing about him, pretending that he died at birth, and sending him off to live with a nanny in hiding, Jake and Amanda were convinced that he was my son, therefore he had to be my son. But when I finally held him in my arms, I felt so connected to him. I was his father in every way possible. It wasn't until recently that I found out the truth. Oh my God, David, I'm so sorry. So that's what you were talking about when you talked about the bond you have with a child that's not yours biologically. You weren't even thinking about me and Emma. You were talking about what you have with Trevor. But how could you keep it a secret? How could you let everyone think he's your son when he isn't? Because he still feels like my boy. I don't love him any less. I don't want to protect him any less. In my mind, in my heart, nothing has changed. But it has. Especially if Jake is Trevor's real father. Is he? Do you even know? Tell the truth, David. Who's the father of that baby? father is. But it's probably Jake. It's possible, yes. But in the beginning, Amanda thought that it was JR's baby. She was pretty active back then. What changed her mind about JR? The dates. After her first checkup, she said that the conception date didn't match up for JR. That's when she was convinced that the baby was mine. And that's when all their manipulations started. For months, Amanda did everything she could to keep me from knowing the truth. The idea that I could be her baby's father was terrifying to her. But the baby wasn't yours. So the date that they figured it from must have been wrong as well. The father could still be JR. And after I had my own DNA test and I realized Trevor wasn't mine, I assumed it was Jake. But honestly, all I really cared about was that Trevor was not mine. What now? I wasn't going to tell anyone. Ever. You weren't... You, you really weren't going to tell Amanda? The boy's mother or Jake? Who loves Trevor just as much as you do? You weren't even going to say a word? No, I wasn't. David, you have to. Before another day goes by, you have to let them... No! Know that, you're... that is not going to happen. I'm not going to tell them a damn thing. It's possible neither Jake nor JR is the father. Who knows how many other men Amanda slept with back then? And why should Jake get to be Trevor's father? After what he did, he used that boy to tear my heart out. He deliberately made me think my own son was dead. I mean, you of all people know what that means to me, Greenlee. To lose another child? What they did to you was horrible, yes. But can't you be not as horrible just for once? Why is that so hard for what you? What is the point? You don't have a clue as to what I've been through all these months. Yeah, you've proven what a good man you can be. Look at what you've done for me, sacrificed for me, saved my life. Shouldn't you put as much into saving your own life? Why can't you do that? Why can't you save yourself? Why don't you get it? I am saving myself with my son. Trevor is saving me. And he may be my last chance. I am. All my life, 
I've been driven to succeed. And I did. My walls are covered with plaques, awards, certificates. I have saved countless lives. I have basked in all the praise and adulation. I really am the best at what I do. But what do I have ultimately? In the end, nothing. In the end, I leave nothing. Here lies a once great doctor, one of many. Please. There's no pride in what I do anymore, Greenlee. I just go through the motions out of selfishness and ego. Because the truth is, all my life, all I've ever wanted was one thing, a family, my own family, a wife, children. The promise that comes with growing old and watching your kids grow and, and flourish. The only thing greater in pride in oneself is the pride you have in your children. To stand there at the back of the room and watch your son's first piano recital. Or your daughter kicking in the winning goal. Their first of many diplomas children, which so many people take for granted, and what I just can't seem to stop losing. What price do you pay if you lie to your child? How many lives will be ruined? How many hearts broken? That's what it is, isn't it? <laughs> yep. That's what it always comes back down to. Say it, Greenlee. You feel the same way as everyone else. That I'm evil. That I'm some kind of monster. Say it. Go ahead, say it. Because you'd happen to be right. That is the sickening truth. Do I have to say anything, David? You've already said it all. Well, then I guess I should go. Look, I'm truly sorry for your pain. I know it's for real. I know it hurts. Because I know what children mean to you. I was there when you lost Leora. At least, now I understand what's been haunting you. But it still doesn't change how you feel about me. I do feel for you, David. Whatever you've done, however misguided, you and I will always share a special bond. But do I think that you're going to find forgiveness out there from the rest of them? Honestly, no. Do I hope you find what you're looking for, the family, the children? God, yes, but that's not Trevor. Trevor is a lie, and until you tell everyone the truth, until Jake and Amanda know who Trevor's real father really is, you'll never find that happiness. Don't you see? You're trying to hold on to something that was never real in the first place, and eventually that's going to tear you apart. Call him. Call him. Go ahead, tell them exactly how I've destroyed their lives. If you can do it, go ahead, Greenlee. I deserve it. But it's up to you. 